New at 6 today, starting today, agencies and communities that have been impacted by the migrant surge at the border can apply for reimbursement through the American Rescue Plan. A Congressman Henry Cuellar says the Emergency Food and Shelter Program now has $110 million in funding available. Jesse Degogata reports that some say it's now easier to be reimbursed than it was during the surge we saw in 2014. Since 2019, nonprofits and agencies helping migrant arrivals can ask to be reimbursed through the Federal Emergency Food and Shelter Board. Not so back in 2014. The state was getting monies, but they did not want to pass that on. Uh, to the local governments. Here at the Freeman Coliseum Expo Hall, housing more than 1,900 migrant boys, the cost of leasing the facility is covered by the federal government. Catholic Charities, however, is operating the shelter. The first quarter cost will be reviewed, says a representative for Catholic Charities USA, then it will assess what it will apply for. At one of the smallest shelters on the border that has about 150 migrants nightly, the pastor of Holding Institute in Laredo says they need to be reimbursed to keep doing what it does. We've been having to float, you know, for the for the past few months and and most uh, NGOs and most shelters are not able to float that that long. Smith says food alone costs $4,200 every three weeks to cover its expenses so far this year. He says Holding Institute may apply for about $50,000 in emergency food and shelter funds. I already bought the cheeseburgers and the hamburgers and the meat and they've already been eaten. Now I just need to Pay for them. Jesse de Goyado, KSAT 12 News.